Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so it's 12 a.m. as you can see down there, 12 a.m. And hey, what, what do you do? Do you sleep? No. Do you practice? No. You record an awesome tutorial. This one's gonna be exciting. You're gonna like it. Quick update on what I've been doing. Uh, today I got my tooth removed, so I'm in a lot of pain. So I thought, hey, if I cannot sleep, might as well record the video. Okay, but what are we doing? This, ah, oh, I spoiled it, damn, okay. So there are a lot of cool effects with images that you can do. So I thought I'd do two of them and hey, whichever you like more, maybe you can implement it in your next project. But uh, we're gonna cover two different techniques actually. So what am I talking about? Well, if we hover over this image, we're gonna get this nice transition effect between two pictures. So that's one of them. And the other one is we're gonna get like a nice black um, background fade in like that and some text on top of it also. So we're gonna do these differently and hey, you can pick whichever you like the most. All right, also, obviously you can add different colors to this, doesn't have to be black, but hey, I thought it goes well with this image. Okay, all right, let me close this port, watch this and yep. Bam, 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 the big error. All right, so we're gonna start this fresh as always. You know, I never really like tutorials that start off with, uh, hey, okay, let's start. And then they have like 20 million files open and like, wow, what, what do I even do? Where do I even start? So yeah, if one thing I wanna keep consistent is just doing all the tutorials from, from scratch. Obviously, if we're going to be doing React or Vue or something like that, we're going to do the Create React app or something because it's going to be a waste of time to set everything up for, from scratch. So in those cases, like obviously, we're going to do um, like a starter pack. All right, so empty folder. And the only thing I have preset here is, can I drag this here? Wow, can I not drag images? All right, so basically, let me just copy these from here. I I found three pictures on the internet, okay? That's the only thing I need, three pictures here. So go on Pexels, go on, I don't know, I just, I only use Pexels, so I cannot give you any other Google images, maybe? All right, let's go with, let's name these pictures, okay? I usually go with IMG but I'm a wild boy today. I'm just gonna name them pictures. Okay, do the tang. Let's do the index HTML as always. Uh, we're gonna do this and tab to generate a nice clean slate here to go. We're gonna name this image transitions. All right, save this. Let's quickly do a style.css to generate our CSS. Never forget to link this. And that's actually all we're gonna need. We're not gonna be needing any JavaScript. So it's gonna be pure CSS on this one. Lucky us. Good. And this kind of bothers me. <laughs> Let's just move this up here. <laughs> all right, that's good. All right, so, I mean, sure. Let's add the title. I had the title here, so mine as well. Let's also pull up, I have this extension live server so if you're interested then oh my god what's look at so many extensions uh live server okay so you can get that if you want and then it opens up on port 5500 so let's go there really quickly and this is why what we have okay i'm just gonna minimize this for a bit let me close out youtube from here and I believe I added a basic styling to this. So I named this title. You don't need to do this. Actually, let me just quickly do it here. I just had a title. I did a height of 20 VH display flex, justify content center align item center, just so we can have a bit of space so we can do the images here. Again, optional. So here we go. All right, so let's get going with the images. I'm gonna do an image container for this, okay? And here is, we're gonna build the first one, you know, with the fade in. 
the transition between the two pictures. So for that, we're going to need a div and we're just going to put both images in here. This is going to be very simple. So it's going to be quite fun to do and just take the other image in pictures mountain two. Good. All right. So what do we have? Well, obviously we have both images down here. Now, what we want to do is basically get this container, adjust it, make the first picture adjust to the container and then put the second picture on top of it. Okay. So the way that's going to go is for to see everything very clearly here. The thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the image container like this. All right. And I'm going to add a background color black to this. Okay. So this is, what holds both images. Okay. So obviously it's going to be here, right? Now I'm going to add a height and a width to this and then basically tell the image to, to take the height and the width of this container. So if I add, let's say height 500 pixels to this and width 800 pixels like that, we're not going to be able to see it because this is in the background. Can I push this forward? I don't think I can do that now. Um, so obviously this is in, we need to tell our images to take this height and width. So the way we do that is we're going to say image container. See, I'm kind of losing myself here because my tooth is killing me. All right, no excuses. All right. So if we had a width of 100 to this, then and the height of 100 to this, and that should work. Oh, image, I apologize. So we're gonna select the image within the container. We're gonna tell it to take the height and the width of this, right? 100%, gonna take 100% of this. So look at that. It's taking 100% of our container. Now if I add a border to our container, and pixel solid black, we're going to be able to see where our container is. So there's the container and we added the width and the height of 100. <laughs> now the problem is, well, this image sticks out, right? Because it obviously doesn't have space in here. So the way we do that is I'm actually going to leave this on for a bit just for reference. We don't need a background color. All right. So we want to take this and put it on top of this. So let's just add a class on the second one and call it a uh, transition image. Okay. Just add a class of transition image on top of this. Good. Now on transition image, we're going to position this absolute. What position absolute is going to do is going to take this picture out of the the context here and now we can place it wherever we want basically on the page right oh <clears throat> sorry <laughs> tooth why you do this to me now the problem is if we're gonna say top zero here it's gonna put it all the way on top here why well we need to specify the relative position uh, of this picture and the way we do that is we just go up to the container we're going to say position relative. So if I say top zero pixels, then it's going to go all the way to the top, right? But it's going to go all the way to the top relative to our image container. So if we put top zero here, then it's going to go right there on top. There we go. That's all we need to do. Nothing much. So recap, just add position absolute, uh, add the position relative to the container that you want the image to go. And then from there, you can adjust as you wish. So if I want to push this down 100 pixels, then we're going to be able to see what's happening, right? So 100 pixels defines uh, the amount of pixels from the top of the relative container. Wow, okay. Hopefully then that's clear. Okay, so that's all we need to do. And we're going to add opacity zero to this. Okay. Uh, it's almost done. Okay. So besides this, which is 
kind of irrelevant to the tutorial. This is all we have, right? And now, last thing all we need to do is just say transition image. On the hover, we're going to say opacity 1. Good. And look, when we hover, boom, 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 chicky chicka. Okay. Now the problem is it's too sudden. So we're going to add a transition here of opacity of 0 0.5 ease. And voila, there we go. So that's hopefully that's quite simple. All right, let's do the second one. All right, so I'm going to remove the border. Hopefully that was clear. <coughs> and there we go. All right, for the second one, let's just, you know what, let's just copy this and paste it here. So for this one, we're going to keep the image container here and we're just going to change the image to the third image, okay? Look, I got lazy to rename this one. Mountain 1, Mountain 2. All right, so there we go. Rename this one. Now this one is down here. Again, you don't need to do this, but I'm just going to position it just like how I did uh, here, right? So the way I'm going to do that is just add a div around these two image containers. So I'm gonna, just going to say images. Okay. Wow. So generic. Okay. So just some basic styling here. Again, I'm going to put all the useless stuff up here. Images. Just going to say display flex. It's going to bring it one next to each other. I'm just going to say justify content space around. Just like that. Okay. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. Just like in the beginning. All right. Now, the interesting part is that for this one, uh, we're going to just leave it like this. We don't actually need any. <clears throat> we don't actually need any. Anything else. <laughs> All right. What did that wait? I'm actually curious. What did I want to say? We don't actually need any what? Any more, any more HTML. Okay, that's what I wanted to say. Um, okay, let's 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 focus here. So for this one, besides the image container, which just gives the basic styling to this, right? The width hundred and the <coughs> this, right? Just so everything is nice. Uh, we're gonna actually add a fade class to this, so we can style this container specifically. Okay, so not on the image, we're going to go on the class on this one. So all the way down here. All right, we're going to say fade. And now for this one, for start, actually, we don't need to do anything on this. So what we're going to do is add after to this, right? Dot dot after double dot after. And this one takes a content, which we're going to put nothing in here. And what this does basically is we can, in a way, how would I, how would I explain this? Because I had trouble understanding this in the beginning. It's like injecting some additional content to your already existing div, okay? And you can do that in here without specifying it in the HTML. Now, usually you want to avoid adding content in your CSS just because, hey, separation of concerns is always nice. And when I look here, I expect all my text. And when I look here, I usually expect all my styling, right? But hey, if you do it minimally, then I think it's fine. So basically what this does again is just inject additional content um, in this div, right? Now the other thing we can do is also style it, right? So we can style it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say background. So we're going to add a color of black to this, right? We're going to add a width of 100. Okay, so it's 
just as big as the container height 100 to this all right now we probably don't have anything yet and then we're gonna say position absolute and look there it is okay so again we added 100 100 here so it takes the <clears throat> the container width here and yep there it is all right now we need to position it right on top of this so again the way we do that is we're gonna say top zero left zero and there we go right on top we're gonna take out the opacity because we don't want any opacity on it but when we hover over it we want to add the opacity so the way we do that is we're gonna say dot fade hover after so when I hover over the fade after which is this black uh, background sitting on top of this right because this is sitting on top right now we just have the opacity zero but that still activates if we hover over it oh my god next time remind me to get some water <laughs> here <laughs> so my voice doesn't crack so much okay so basically this activates when we hover over it so opacity one there we go but we don't want one so we're gonna say 0 0.5 and we get that effect nice let's add a transition to this of all right let's keep going with the 0 0.5 opacity 0 0.5 second ease bam there we go <clears throat> we can also add the content so let's do the mountains awesome we're gonna add a color to this we're gonna say white and there it is the mountains let's also you can also position this so we're gonna say display flex justify content center which is gonna align it here and then we're gonna say align items which aligns everything vertically and we should have this let's add a font size of 20 <clears throat> there we go extreme all right there we go all right so those are the two effects that I thought would be cool to show you guys hope that was interesting uh, future plans of what I want to do I kind of want to add um, some button animations to input animations I think those would be cool let me know if you would like to see input animations and and let me make myself bigger here uh, input animations form animations uh, button animations anything you can think of basically or maybe we can do uh, we're, we're gonna do more JavaScripty things I I'm gonna decide but definitely let me know if you have any suggestions wow okay so this was quite fun to make uh, let me know how it goes if you have any issues let me know down below I'll try to help you as much as possible github code will be up very soon so please be patient for that all right Thank you so much for watching. Uh, drop a sub if you like this. And I'll see you very soon, man. Thanks. Peace.